Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in Space Engineers working on the Death Star Death Ray. This is going to be the last video on this portion of the Death Ray, or the Death Star rather. Um, and that is okay. I mean, I've had a lot of fun just making this one piece of what is the full Death Star. And hopefully we'll make it... Um, or at least get it to look how it should in um, in the final uh, creation. If not, then I've tried my best. I've done what I was supposed to do, and we'll we'll see how it all goes. So at the beginning, you saw that I was doing some pasting, and we're um, making sure that it looks the way that I want it to. Uh, the white section leading into the black section just did not look right it didn't look right to the pictures uh, so i ended up cutting off the black and extending the white all the way up to the cowl that's above it in there we ended up going ahead and putting the um, the black sections that make it look exactly how it does in the picture though in the picture it's kind of misconstrued because i'm following the guidelines as how uh, wide this thing is and how tall it is but whenever you get to the point where you're placing down the final blocks above it is supposed to be a spike that comes out and it reaches all the way up to the uh, the tethering or whatever you want to call that that is right above it it's going to um it's supposed to pierce it and then that's where i was going to have um different um have the cabling come down through it and that's how you would get the uranium up to the top of the vehicle but anyway, uh, that is not how it ended up working out. I might go back and do a little bit more editing to get to that point. But that isn't really anything I'm worried about. I think it ended up coming out pretty nice. And the color system that I put on this, I mean, I could go back and do all of it gray. It really doesn't matter. And in sunlight... All of the details are coming through, and you're seeing every single different section, how it's supposed to look, and I just had a lot of fun with it. So, I don't know what you guys think. What do you think about it so far? I mean, this is just one portion of what is the full device. Uh, the next thing that we'll need to do is build the core, and then build out from the core. Uh, we have a basic idea of the dimensions of the core based off of how big the the section is that we're piercing into it with and also how um, that we'll have to make sure it's at the right angle so that when we build, we have the ability to build up and to it instead of having to build, um, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I want to make sure that it just looks nice. But let's go ahead and take a tour of the whole vehicle and hopefully you're enjoying. And here we go. This is it. This is the final look of the overall Death Ray. Uh, at the very bottom you'll see a needle type point that leads into the core and then moves up through the oval section which is where there's a gears that wind up whenever the ship is about to fire then it goes into the next section where it has power being pushed down into the center and up through the rest of the laser and finally up to the top here through the tethered pieces and into the actual dish where it is finally then released now the color scheme like i said before it was just to break up the monotony of all the gray and uh, let me know what you think how do you like the colors or should i not have colored it at all and um let's go ahead and go through the laser itself just to show you all the work i've done on it so we can see here there are sections that i just have to keep um, editing just to make sure that it looks the way i want it to even though again none of this is going to be seen uh, it's more about how i want it to um, look uh, myself i want it to be pleasing to the eye even though the eye is probably not going to be there 
and it goes up and it expands outward you'll see it there and then finally it goes all the way up through the big oval section into the oval section which is this section here it gets pushed down and compressed into a high energy beam and then it goes out again to finally meet its destination of death <laughs> it it really was pretty fun making this thing so let's go ahead and head up and look at how many blocks this thing has how big it is and um and just see what's going on with it so as we can see here um i go ahead and save because anytime i go into the computer it has a chance to fail so as you see 156,000 blocks we have 30,000 non-armor blocks 30,000 conveyors we have four well the thrusters don't matter those are coming off and then we have 95 million triangles. I don't know what that really attests to, but it's got to be something. <laughs> to be honest, I originally what I was going to do is when this was done, I was going to take off all this section uh, that's up here where I'm sitting and then turn it back into a ship so that I can move it. But I don't think that's how I'm going to do it now. I think I'm going to have to build the core onto this and then um, have all the other sections be built in this world or another world because they're supposed to be fixing the, um, the ability to uh, make a, a world like this without having to, um, to have asteroids. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.